Hello everybody, welcome. We are so glad you're here tonight to help us celebrate the U.S. launch of SARI, uh, which will become, we think, the, the uh, well-known brand for premium fruit here in the U.S. So uh, thank you for coming, we're very glad that you're here. What I want to say is a um, kind of unique position that I am a former congressman in, in California and also I got just appointed presidential advisor to Korea. I feel my job is to make sure that both nations get a benefit out of this FTA and uh, that's what this is for. By the way, all the stuff that they're making Every single of them has a, a grinded pears and apples in it. That's why it tastes a little, little sweet. So it's very healthy stuff. Uh, this is a very well known recipe in Korea, but here, uh, uh, totally unknown. That's why I want to make sure that we do have this kind of reception. Hopefully, uh, next year we may have, I mean, later this year we may have New York and, and West Coast, and so This is a great opportunity for. Uh, Two nations, share the culture, share the experience. I'm going to continue to work on this, and I'm in a position that I can do that. Korea is today, 
Koreans of my generation and, and Jay's generation all have, which is the idea that it's about family, taking care of each other, making sure that the basics of what we need in our lives are taken care of. And so rather than going out there and inventing something brand new, we looked around to see what was it available to us. What came from the ground is what fed us. And my mom still tells me these stories about when she was growing up, how you know, there was no piece of ch uh, chocolate or gum when she grew up. The only sweet thing she could ever have was fruit. And it was hard to find fruit back then during the uh, war torn days. But when they saw trees or farms, they were just like this picture, snake head, and trying to steal a little bit of fruit from somebody. Because that was the only sustenance that they ever had that was sweet and, and dessert-like. There was no ice cream. There was no chocolate. There was no pie. That, that's what they sustained on. And so for Koreans and so many uh, folks all, all around the world who are third world uh, nations, fruit and veggies and what grows in our natural resources are the most uh, sustainable sources of food. And so the fact that here we are in the 21st century, in the greatest country in the world, just a shadow away from the White House and building that is, holds the most power in the entire world, we're talking about the most basic fundamental thing that human beings need, food. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a wonderful tradition.